What is going on everyone and welcome back to the Elder Scrolls Online. I just want to say Merry Christmas to everyone here watching. Or it's actually a few hours till Christmas. But Christmas Eve is here and I hope you guys are having a wonderful holiday if you are celebrating it. If not, then have a fantastic day. Um, anyway, I hope you guys have been enjoying the longer episodes of ESO lately. Uh, I just wanted to get some extra stuff done. And for everyone wondering, do follow me on Twitch TV. We actually are close to a thousand followers, which is actually pretty sweet. And um, I do actually live stream. You get to watch gameplay in advance and all the stuff before I actually upload it to YouTube. So that's pretty nice. And um, yeah, you can find all the links in the description. Not really going to self advertise it right now. But um, yeah, be my thousandth follower. That would be super awesome. Alright, so... I do plan on making some more longer videos because you guys seem to like it. So, that's always good. Hello? This land inspires me. I already have enough ideas to fill an entire book of poetry. Famous? Perhaps. Some people like my poems, and that is enough for me. But you want an orc poem. What particular topic intrigues you? War? Blood? Revenge? I know a decidedly graphic verse advocating the benefits of evisceration. A love po- For an orc? Are we talking about the same orcs? The violent, bad-tempered, warlike people? Those orcs? I'm not certain they write about love. Certainly not like the Bretons or Nords. Perhaps I could interest you in a Red Guard love sonnet. Hmm, let me think. Oh, of course. Have you heard the poem about the warrior and the axe she loves? Ode to a battle axe, I believe it is called. I suppose I could change a word or two and it might suffice for your purposes. What the fuck? I got aggroed. How I'm hitting him from there, I have no idea. Random merchant. Hello. You. No, no. You have some of the worst items ever. Let's sell some stuff. Nope. Mm, we can get rid of those. Actually, before we do anything, we gotta go pick up our dailies. What is that? That is seven. Wait, hold on. Refined into seven to ten ancestor silk. Oh, okay. Got it. I think we're good now. This land. Fate a love hmm indubitably. I'll just change my axes to my lady loves and uh, fills me with a lust for blood becomes fills me with a lust for you. Not up to my usual standards, but I think you'll agree that it has a certain charm. Ha <laughs> ha you're weird. All right, moving on to the next spot right now. This place is not filled with enemies, right? Greetings. Welcome back. Let me guess. From that look on your face, Narciss Dren wasn't completely honest with us when I hired him. I knew his arrival in the village right after the Draugr appeared was a bit too convenient. I've seen his type in my travels. Arrogant, sneaky, but mostly harmless. Probably had you do all the hard work, too. Did he now? I wonder how that might have happened. Well, I'm sure the great Narciss Dren can extract himself from that situation in due time. He can keep whatever he found as payment for services rendered. He's welcome to it. A problem he created. We could deal with a few Draugr, but we try to avoid constantly fighting with our neighbors. 
Here. Since I'm sure you did all the work, take the gold I was going to pay him. It's actually not that bad if it gave health and more damage. But I do actually have to upgrade to veteran 15 and 16 stuff a little bit later as well. Alrighty, so where are we going now? Um, I mean, we have a quest in here, and we have something down there, so might as well just fast travel. I still wonder how the pace of this game is going to develop like in the next few years like are they just going to keep adding content and increasing the veteran rank level cap or are they just going to remove it and like make it so your champion points are all that matters because i would really actually like to see them remove the uh veteran ranks and the way they can actually reward people who actually do play is the champion points which they actually kind of do now However, like, they they had to, like, rebalance it because it was broken in PvP. Like, the people who had a couple thousand champion points would obviously destroy people with, like, a few hundred. So they have to, like, fix that, so I don't know how it's going to work. Have you come for my cheese? That seems to be the only thing anyone ever wants to talk to me about these days. That old hearthwife's tale again. Yes, Wooly here gives the best milk in seven strongholds. And yes, Wooly's milk makes the most delicious and smooth and creamy cheese in all of Rothgar. But its amorous attributes have been greatly exaggerated. Well, I didn't say that. The quality of Wooly's milk, combined with my secret processes, does add a tinge of arousal with every bite you take. But cheese, even my cheese, won't make an orc fall in love with you. It's not magica, you know. Curdled mammoth cheese? That's a Nord delicacy. <laughs> no way she said that. I mean, I suppose that would be a fair trade. Just remember that Wooly's cheese can be rather potent. A little goes a long way when it comes to romancing an affectionate orc. That has got to be one of the weirdest conversations that could possibly happen. Alright, so where are we going? Uh, what the fuck? Where are we? Uh, let's go meet the person in town. So let's go back to a shrine and we'll go do that. I know we're kind of like jumping all over the place in terms of questing, but that's pretty much what it is. <laughs> It'll be fine. happening all right we're going this way hello oh yeah we're going to like the museum area again right right got it so laggy in here what the hell place grand and they were happy to have a researcher of my caliber join their staff feel free to look around we have some lovely displays coming together downstairs that show the width and breadth of orsimer history oh they are wonderfully splendid such exquisite relics i'm still consulting with a few experts about the etchings but the items are definitely related to a dragon priest and his followers you've done me a great favor friend I plan to continue to study these relics and ascertain why the Nords built a tomb in Rothgar. I'll conduct proper scholarly research. Not that popular claptrap that Narcissus Dren had me write. And never fear, you will receive the credit you deserve. <sighs> That's terrible. Okay. We're good. Gather extra eggs from Birdsong. Hold on, I, I can pretty much figure out where the main story quests are once I get to do I them. The um, I wish I told you which one the main ones 
main quests are. I think this one's the main one. We'll just go do that one. And the quest you see there, I do believe, is just a regular daily. Yeah, it's just a daily board. Nothing important. Hail. Let's get out of this town immediately. As nice as it looks, performance over graphics. Oh, that's awkward. We don't have a shrine. All right, well, we're gonna have to... <laughs> oh my God. We're gonna have to actually go over here and go all the way down or actually... Yep, we're gonna have to go from here all the way down. That's awkward. All right, so I do have it. No, that's not marked, it's marked now. We'll probably find more shrines on the way, so we only have to do this once. No. We're just charging right down yeah. the middle of the area. By the way, I just wanted to like make a quick mention. If you are enjoying your time here and enjoy what you see in here, feel free to subscribe. I do upload videos seven days a week. So would love to see you come back. And yeah, I usually upload something new every single day. And yeah. Oh, there's a quest over here. I'm not sure if I've ever done that one. Could be wrong. Ooh, is there a shrine? Yes, there's a shrine there. Wasn't there like a troll under the bridge last time? I do not remember. Okay, you're friendly. The quest up there. We'll go talk to this person. I want all the soldiers from all of the clans to circle the fort. Iceheart won't escape from me this time. Our soldiers know what to do, Kirog. You can count on that. And maybe this victory will finally convince you and the other chiefs to fully accept my claim to the throne. You always just barge into the king's tent without so much as a by your leave? Who in the name of First Forge do you think you are, troll breath? So, you're one of the outsiders my mother's been harping about. I'm Kurok, King of the Orsimer. Welcome to my war. <laughs> Your timing's perfect. I'm just finishing this damn fine leg of Chubloon. You hungry? I do enjoy a good meal before a fight. <laughs> it's a good thing that that's where we're going, then. This siege was taking too long anyway. Your fawn Iceheart is the last of the Winterborn Warlords. And frankly, I'm ready to be done with him. He, he knows we're coming, so I'm expecting a good fight. <laughs> you bet your arse I told him we were coming. Fair's fair. And it probably scared the ice water out of his veins. <laughs> I want to see you in action. You lead, I'll follow. Now, let's go kill old Iceheart. Then we can return to Orsidium and feast! <laughs> we need to find a way into that fort to get to Iceheart. Talk to the siege commanders and see if they can get us inside. Ha! Now that's a sight! Look at those catapults fly! I'm amazed the towers can withstand the punishment. The Bretons must have used orc crafters and they've built that place to last. But never fear, 
The Winterborn won't have a fort to protect them for much longer. Chirag summoned the chiefs of Rothgar to besiege the Winterborn. One of our biggest problems are those Briarheart monstrosities. For every one we kill, two more take its place. I know there's a solution, but damn if it doesn't keep eluding us. We need to get inside the fort. Find out where they're spawning those abominations. But the damn harpies! We can't walk five steps without becoming bird food. Siege Commander Dolph's working on a plan. I hope it's a good one, for all our sakes. This is the Winterborn's final stand. We destroy the Briarhearts while Chirag deals with their warlord, Iceheart. If we succeed, Chirag will have ended a threat that has plagued us for far too long. Maybe then I'll consider accepting him as our king. Surprising, isn't it? We're pretty sure they're all connected through the Hag Ravens, or whatever you call those ugly old hags. It wouldn't surprise me if the Briarhearts are also their creation. They're all vile, a lot of them. The Briarheart warriors are like the undead, only worse. They talk to each other, think on their own, behave just like any other soldier. But there's no way they're alive, not with half their chest hanging wide open. I guess you haven't experienced a Winterborn raid yet. You can actually see their foul hearts beating inside their open chests. Except they aren't hearts at all. More like some sort of malignant growth. It's unsettling to see, to say the least. You can say that. It started when he claimed the title of king. Many chiefs aren't ready to bend their knee to Kurog. It's not the orc way. But Kurog knows how to conduct a battle. Look around! No clan could muster a force such as this. Chirag believes that the orcs need a united kingdom. We've banded together to defend our land, but beyond that, we'll see. The Winterborn have been ransacking Rothgar for years. At least Chirag has brought us together to try to put an end to that. Perhaps, but tradition sometimes is too high a wall to climb over. We're a proud and stubborn people. New ideas, they frighten us. And Kurog is full of new ideas. A new city, a new god, it's more than many of us can take. But if he wins the day... Hit the Winterborn with everything we've got! What? I want to do it. Where do I go? Take me there. I think we actually have to go around. Oh, hello, you're following me. I this is the right way. I'm rather busy right now. If you don't find the alchemist and destroy those nests, we'll never break this siege. You heard him for the king. Get down. No, no, let me go. Damn it, looks like and there's more soldiers that could way. Use a hand. You, you brought the king here? Then welcome to our siege camp. Sorry you had to see those damn harpies at work. I'm not sure King Korog should be walking around out in the open, but I've got a barrel full of my own worries to deal with. If you want to become bird food, I'm not going to stop you. And after losing more soldiers to the harpies, I'm ready to accept any help I can get. Besides, anything is better than what the little wood elf was able to accomplish. Sent her in with a squad of orcs to deal with the harpy nests on the towers. Figured if the nests were on fire, the distraction would allow another squad to get in and put an end to the Briarhearts. But both groups have disappeared without a trace. A volunteer? I appreciate that kind of go get em attitude. If you do manage to find either of the missing squads, remind them that they have their orders. I expect them to complete their missions. The outcome of this siege depends on them. The main path is too well defended. You'll be a lamb led to the slaughter if you go that way. Our siege provides some cover, so you might be able to sneak around the left side of the fort. And the right side is clear, except for the harpies. I sent the wood elf and one squad to set fire to the harpy nests. The other squad is supposed to find the source of the briar hearts and put an end to that threat. But everything hinged on dealing with the harpies. We just can't get past the birds. My siege engineers can easily calibrate the trebuchets to launch direct strikes against the airy towers. They just need something to target. That's the first squad's mission. 
Mark the area so we can knock it out of the sky. The Winterborn zombies? Not much. Our alchemist, Alinan, has some experience dealing with the Reach. He thinks the Hagravens grow the hearts, planting them and harvesting them like grapes from a vine. A disgusting image, I know, but that's Alinan. That's what Alinan thinks. As long as he can put a stop to the foul things, I don't care how crazy his ideas sound. But he's with the second squad, somewhere on the other side of those walls. Without Alinan, things get much more complicated. Don't worry, I got this. No one panic. Hello. Wait, what quest am I? Deal with the harpies? How do I do that? Hello there. Am I supposed to like use one of these or something? Be safe until all of the Winterborn are dead. Now fire! What does that even mean? How do I? I think I'm doing like two different quests at the moment. Nope, get out of the line. Mickey like said we had to go to the left or something. Whoops. More gold hype. I'm actually kind of confused right now, and I apologize because I have no idea what's going on. Unless there is a way to sneak through. Nope. Ooh, crystals. All right, wait, hold on. Um, somehow I have to go through there. Void stone. If you're good at spotting that, you don't really need the passive. You can save those extra points for something uh, more useful. If you have the respect of Clan Murtog, you have mine too. How am I supposed to deal with the harpies? I'm quite busy, can't you see? I don't know why I'm actually having trouble with this. Like, I've done this before. Once you get in there, ooh, more rubidite or no, you actually have to pick it up again and mine it. We're just gonna run right through it. We already wasted enough time. It's like a minefield right there. Oh, and Hagrave. Oh, I'm dead. I'm dead. I don't even care. You know, dying in this game really means nothing. Hold on, let me see. Can I outrun the aggro? King have come to our aid? We're honored. But we've been trapped in here for too long. We still have a mission to complete. Once again, we underestimated the Winterborn's capabilities. They caught scent of us as soon as we penetrated the walls. Harpies from above, Winterborn from all sides. We lost a lot of soldiers before we were able to take refuge in this tower. 
We need to get our archer into position to mark the Harpy Iris so that our catapults can target them and destroy them. We lost all of our archers. The Wood Elf's all we have left. I hope she's as good of a shot as she claims to be. Our squad split off right after we entered the fortress. They're protecting the Breton alchemist who's supposed to be able to put an end to the Briarheart threat. But it doesn't matter if they're dead or alive if we don't deal with the Harpies. If you can clear us a path to the towers, we can get the elf into position so she can loose her signal arrows. Then the catapults can do their work. We need to hurry. We've lost too much time already. Really good troops to the Winterborn. Going all the way up. Okay, I remember this quest now. Just don't do anything dumb and we should be okay. Yeah. Okay, well we talked to those two, now we just have to go down and find the other two places. I thought there was like a nest up there, apparently not. Charge! Oh god. I really don't mind running through all this. I don't actually think they follow you all the way to the top. We're still under aggro. Oh! Oh, they're following me. Keep up, elf. Those harpies aren't going to kill themselves. But there are so many stairs. No time for complaints either. We have a mission to complete. All right, all right, pushy orc. Just tell me when you want me to make the strike. Gusting winds, flying birds trying to eat us, fire everywhere. But that up there, that's a stationary target that needs an arrow in it. Just tell me when you want me to make the strike. Interesting. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna die if I jump. Okay, oh, okay. That wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. Look at it burn. I'm ready. Let's go. Oh no, there's a wall there. Uh oh. You can't stop me. Yeah, they only follow you up like what, three flights of stairs and then you're good to go. I'll see you. Oh god, there's one right there. Keep running. Tower secure. Good work, outsider. He's just gonna run away. It's no big deal. The wood elf is right behind me. Oh, you didn't run away. Not surprising. Where did the sergeant go? I love the smell of the siege camp. It smells warm and sweet. Makes me anticipate the battle to come. You know what it smells like? It smells like muffins. Really soft, fresh muffins. <laughs> Covered in bug iron ale jam. <laughs> You're kind of obsessed with food, aren't you? Food is life. Food is strength. And you certainly don't appear to have missed any meals lately. Trinimax followers in ancient times. I bet they enjoyed a good feast on a regular basis. I'll have to ask Solgra about that. Uh, absolutely. We've been... 
Your fault. Of course. Usually. You don't know. I need yeah, we heard all that dialogue already. Do me a favor and don't let any of those filthy harpies get too close. I'd hate to get carried off because I was busy concentrating on making this ridiculously easy strike. Speaking of which, let me know when you want me to loose my arrow. Two Ares destroyed, no problem. Now, let's find the Breton alchemist. Usually if you have a higher magic build, you could uh, heal more than three times. But overall, you should be fine. I don't know where I'm going now. Ah! Run! Go! No! Fucking aggroed. Oh, okay. I kind of just wasted it ult on that. Oh shit. I remember this. Fuck. It's gonna be annoying. You have to actually fight so many things. The first time I did it, there were like eight different people around the area. So that's what made it a little bit easier. Then it's just like healing. I really hope I don't have to do that again. Like, or at least they did some sort of patch on it. Let's show them who really controls Rothgar. All right, so let me see. We're gonna have to go right. Right is the faster way. There's probably a sky shard over there. I'm just gonna run it. Can't be bothered. Ooh, one arrow actually like staggered. I know there's a quest there. That is the exact thing I was worried about. This area is going to be like a boss area soon. If you have any questions before we go in there, now's the time. <sighs> the way they do aggro in this game is dumb. Is it too late to talk to him or nah? I like that picture though. The boss fight, I think uh, all you have to do is pretty much avoid it in AOE. So the king of the pig children has come to die. Your soldiers failed, Kurov, and so will you. <laughs> I love it when my enemies mock me. Helps me work up a good raid. You treat everything like a joke. That's why the orcs refuse to follow you. Once you he starts doing your shield and, and your ice slam, that's when you get the fuck Dishonor out of the way. <laughs> I'll honor them Make sure to buff up. Your head from your body. This is going to be a more difficult battle for me because uh, on this character, I don't have any ranged attacks. Well, I do, but it's kind of dumb, I'm going to be honest. You should always have a ranged attack on you. Meteor on him real quick. Yeah, 
he hasn't been doing his shields lately, so that's kind of good. That was actually kind of easier. He didn't use his ults. Iceheart's blade is mine. Now maybe the clans will finally accept my rule. You don't know how good that feels. Your fun Iceheart is finally dead. Imagine you ate too much, and try as you might, you can't get out that really big belch. Then, finally, you let out a thunderous burp. <laughs> yes, that's how I feel right now. <laughs> For all practical purposes, yes. The remaining Winterborn will put up a fight, but without a Warlord, my soldiers should be able to wrap this up in short order. As for me, I can't wait to show off my trophy to the Clan Chiefs. Well, don't let me keep you. You've shown that you're capable enough. You have my full confidence. Just don't go and get yourself killed, all right? I have plans for you, my friend. Big plans! <laughs> Yeah, Iceheart's fancy sword. That should prove to the clan chiefs that we killed the warlord. Might even convince the fence sitters to finally accept me as the rightful king of all the Orsima. I want to check on the supplies the Winterborn stole from us and get them ready to transport back to the city. Meet me at the keep when you're finished here. I want you there when I tell the chiefs what we accomplished today. All right, so if the quest doesn't pop, when I get back out, then I'm probably just going to skip it. Simply because it's annoying to do. The reward isn't really that good. And if I have to come back, it's not really worth my time. But if it's right here, I'll just do it. I think I actually have to activate something because right here would be like the boss and then you're getting wave defense all the way. So I'm clearly missing something. All right. So I don't feel like walking back. Ugh, I have to do that. If some, there's still enemies over here, I'll just uh, get myself killed. It actually does a lot of damage if you get hit by it. Yeah, that's a lot of damage. And we're out. Good. I'm pretty sure that actually saved more. Or it didn't really save me that much time just because it took so long for them to kill me. But that's generally what I do if I'm too lazy to walk out. Gotta find the alchemist real quick. He's like right here. That was a delay trigger. You'll be fine. Well, I'll be damned. I remember you. You helped Darien and me back in Camlorn. You get around a lot, don't you? Have you come all this way to help me? Maybe we still have a chance to salvage this mission yet. Well, we were supposed to wait until the nests were destroyed before heading inside to find the source of the Briarhearts. But the Winterborn, they found us, overwhelmed the soldiers. I ran. I'm not proud of it, but I'm alive. That's what matters. 
I go where the need takes me. The orcs needed an expert on the Reach, so here I am. After Camlorn, I spent some time with the Weird Sisters. They taught me more about the Weird and the Reach than I ever thought possible. It was a fascinating time. We need to get inside the fortress so I can study the magic the Reach are using. Then I can follow the magic right to the source of the Briar Hearts. But you'll need to keep me alive. It will be just like Glen Umbra all over again. There's nothing else we can do out here. Let's get inside. I was the only out. I believe. All right, I guess we'll. Oh my God! Like everything changed colors. I guess we'll go in. I really like. We're right here. Oh, good! You found him. Wait, is this a main story? This might actually be a main story mission. Fuck! I hate it. It's annoying. <laughs> 